Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth video of my 3D printing series. In this video I will show you how to easily create customizable, 3D printable and working nuts and bolts with Blender. I will then print them on my Prusa i3 MK3 S 3D printer. Let's start with the 3D models. First we have to enable two Blender add-ons. The 3D print toolbox. I will use this add-on to check if the models are correct for 3D printing and also export them in STL format. And the bolt factory add-on. I will use this add-on to create the custom nuts and bolts. Let's start by removing the default cube. Press X to delete it. Now let's add a new bolt. To do this press Shift plus A. From the mesh menu select the bolt sub-menu at the bottom. In the left bottom corner you can find the bolt configuration menu of the newly added bolt. Let's make the head smaller and shorten up the thread. Increase the segments to get smoother print. Decrease the minor diameter to get deeper threads and increase the pitch so we get around 3 or 4 threads. Let's increase a little bit the shank length, so we have some space between the head and the thread. And the bolt is ready. Let's create now the nut. Add new bolt from the mesh menu and change the model to nut. Make the hex nut flat smaller to speed up the print and save some filament. Now the nut has the exact same thread as the bolt, but to be able to screw them together we need to add some space. The easiest way to add some space is to increase a little bit the minor and the major diameters. And that is all, the nut and the bolt are done. Before we export the models, we have to scale them. The STL export convert one blender unit to one millimeter. Scaling them with factor 30 will make them between one and two centimeter big. Now we are ready to export the nut and the bolt to STL. Switch to the 3D printing tab on the left. Click export. Now select the nut and click export again. That's all. Now let's check the exported models and add them to the slicer. As you can see, in slicer the bolt and nut sizes are perfect. We have to rotate the bolt, so the head is printed correctly. I bought orange Prusament PETG, so I'm curious how good the print will be. Let's slice it now and export the G-code. Upload the G-code to the Prusa i3 MK3 S 3D printer. And now start the print. Printer is heating up. It will need a couple of minutes to reach the working temperatures for the nozzle and the heat bed. Time to check the print. I have to remove the printed elements from the heatbed first. I printed the elements in PETG so I was a little bit worried that they will not come off easily. 
but it seems that the window cleaner I used as a separation agent worked great and the nut and the bolt came very easy off the heat bed. With window cleaner as separation agent printing with PETG is almost easier than printing with PLA. This are the printed parts. Even without any post-processing they look very good. Let's test now if they work together. They screw very nicely together. They are a perfect fit. You can create tighter or more loose fit by fine-tuning the minor and major diameters in the bolt settings. Thank you for watching. If you like this video hit the like button below. You can also register to my YouTube channel and never miss a new video.